Welcome back, everybody, everybody, to another video. Today's video is going to be some Universe Sandbox. We have a game that I've actually really wanted to play, but since it wasn't out, and since you cannot get this game anywhere other than PC, this is a game that I've always been wanting to play in real life, in just by me, myself, and on my YouTube channel. And we are doing that today. So if you guys are down with that, make sure to get, um, you know, just uh, sit down and get that and get those pop that popcorn because we're going to have some pretty good stuff. Now, um, it's not a very good game to be recording with, okay? My CPU is mostly used on this game with uh, OBS and... Um, with also the thing I have to use to make my microphone sound 10 times better, this is what it's going to be used as. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to see. So, you guys all know, okay, so you guys know our solar system. And if you guys don't, then go back to school. Um, <laughs> because everybody should know uh, our solar system. We got our sun, Mercury, and all that. Now, there is a star, 6. Point something light years away from our solar system. Now, the scenario that I kind of want to make up in a kind of th theory, uh, like as a theory, what happens if that star would have blew up as a supernova? And it is actually, um, it's light years away, not astronomical units. So um, it's like almost like this much, but in light years, not uh, uh, astronomical units. Um, and if you guys don't know what star I'm talking about, I'm talking about this star right here, Sirius. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Sirius. I, I'm sorry. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get close to 6.68 light years away from our um, solar system. And we should be okay. We're, now, uh, okay, that's 668 astronomical units. And then 6,000. Let's just keep going. And this is 1.6 light years, so this is 1.6 light years. I'm pretty sure this would be 6 light years away. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place this twice so it blows up into a supernova. Now that should be a supernova. Boom, supernova. Now the thing is, is what would happen if Sirius, the star, Sirius, the star right here, the star right here, actually blew up. It's the, And if you guys don't know what star that is, in like most of the winter, I think it's like sometime in winter, it is the brightest star that shines north in our sky. So, what happens if this star would have blown, blew up? It is 6.6 .6 something, I think it's 6.68 light years away from our uh, uh, solar system. Now, what happens if it would have exploded? Now, we're going to go and s hopefully speed this up. And here we go. We speeded it up. Now, we're going to click on our, uh, no, look at this. Now, here is earth earth is right here and this is the so um the oh wow oh my god oh my god wait whoa, 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 whoa. slow it down slow it down slow it down slow it down now earth is right here earth are you heating up earth are you heating up earth earth please don't tell me okay so earth is actually earth is cooling it's cooling down maybe it's because we're right at the edge of the supernova we're not, I don't even, it doesn't, yeah, see, we're, we're barely in the supernova. See, now this is, I think it's around 20, I think it's around 50 million degrees, uh, 50 million degrees Celsius, 99 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's how much, uh, how hot a supernova can get. Um, to me, I don't know. I think the edge of a supernova is still hot and no one would be able to live through it. But, the, you know, the way it is on the edge, Earth would survive. And now, I want to actually say, do something with you guys. Okay, so this is what it is. So, our sky is blue right now, right? We, I mean, you can see stars at night and all that. So, we're going to slow it down to real time, which is, or just hours. Now, what happens if we were on the center of the Earth? This is what our sky would look like. So, you would see this kind of at night. I'm kind of thinking you would see this at night, and then, like, you would get into, like, some weird, like, um, skies and stuff like this. And then once you look, you're like, whoa, whoa. And then, like, as time would progress, like 2048, time would progress, that would get brighter because supernova spread really far. They spread, like, 33 light years away. And it's like, so if we speed this up, Earth should take a beating because we're in the supernova right now. Um, holy God. <laughs> so this is exactly what would happen if the North Star exploded. Uh, it wasn't exactly North. Um, we can't, 
I, I can't. I'm not gonna go and try to find my way. What which way is north and stuff like that? But let's speed up. Let's speed up. Um, let's speed up back up to months. Now, see, it would get brighter. It would get ten times brighter. This is what it would look like to us. Now, Earth is not heating up because it's not in the middle of the uh, supernova just yet. It's still going. It's still going on, and it's getting ten times brighter. Like I was saying, it would be getting brighter, and that is insane. It's not. We're, we're not dead. I mean, come on. Earth is here. I mean, I mean, oceans ain't evaporating. It's cooling down, heating up, cooling down, heating up because of the orbit, of the way the orbit it, it does that. That's why uh, sometimes in summer, um, in summers, it is really hot because it's closer to the sun, and when um, it's winter, it is further away. So that's exactly the reason why we have cold, hot, cold, hot, it's because of you know, of of the way the uh, Earth's orbit is. This is the, the way it is. So I'm not. This is not a educational video. I'm just saying, what the this is just what would what would happen if it's not just. We're gonna do some other stuff too, like like some other scenarios. Like look at how bright that is. We are in the. We are in the uh, look at the, look how far this uh, spread it. It spread one point. I don't know why that's doing that. It's, it spread ten light years away, and it would spread another more until we die because we're in the brights of it. And I'm not completely sure how's the sun doing. I know I know the sun uh, already has a hot te surface temperature, and you know so I don't think stars heat up by the way they are. So Saturn is still negative. Uh, we're in it, but I don't know why. Like we're not dying. Like I don't know what is going on with Earth. Uh, we're gonna keep it that way. I'm just gonna keep it that way. Saturn is doing okay. Um, it's still. I mean, it looks like it's heating up. Wasn't it at 90? No, it cooled down. No, wait. Is it heating up or what's is is things heating up? Cause that's the center. This is what we would see, guys. Our our sky would be a bright sky, no matter how far the supernova is. This supernova would be so bright to us. It's like we every day would be a daytime to us. I think. To me, I think it would be because look how bright this is. This is going all around us. Now every day would be hot. I think it would start to get hot as the years go by of 2137. I mean, I don't know how long uh, it takes for these things to spread. I'm pretty sure it takes a really long time from the spread. So, yeah, this is and even if this came from a small star and this is how big the star is compared to our sun. It's, it's a pretty big star. Sirius is a star that uh, shines and it's um it's a, a white hot star. Ten, like I think it's like 10 times hotter than our, what our sun is. And um, if I slow this down a bit, um, maybe it might be a little bit more better on my CPU because my computer is hot. But this is what's happening to Earth. Earth is Earth is still cool, and I I don't know what is going on with Earth. Um. Okay. I I I think. It's still spreading. Okay, this is this is what our, our this is what our solar system is this far into the gal uh, supernova. Everybody, it is it is basically in the middle, and things are not dying. Oh my god, man, this is insane. Like we are like almost in the middle of the super. See this? Okay, so there should be a supernova um, retain or the like the core of what the supernova came from. Basically, that would be the star that it came from. And this is 10 light years away, so we got to go deeper. And, it, and I know it's bright, everybody. I know it's bright. Are we heating up? Is Earth going to die? I'm not entirely sure, so let's speed up some stuff. Let's see if it starts to heat up. And it's not looking like it's heating up. It looks like it's doing just fine. Um, I mean, the most hot it gets is pretty... I don't know. So... What is going on? How far is the supernova spreading? Now, it will tell me right here. I'll see if the oceans evaporate up here. Um, it's still spreading. But it doesn't seem like Earth is heating up. It seems like we're doing just fine. It's just our, our sky would be bright. It would be, a, it would be probably one of the brightest. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it would be really, really bright. To us, I, I to, to me, I think we would 
it would be like an all day day to us like there would be no darkness especially the way that that, that looks it's like a white thing that we would actually see that from even though how far that is from us i'm pretty sure it's like um exactly like uh six uh, light years away from us we'd still see it it would still be a bright it, it would shine brighter than our sun that's why when beetle just explodes um billions of years which it's going to it's going to shine brighter than our sun but it's it's not gonna explode but it's going to die i'm pretty sure it will explode but supernova's only spread so far Beetlejuice is 630 something light years away from our Earth, so we should be fine when that happens. Plus, not only that, that's not that's gonna explode. Not in my lifetime. I'm already gonna be dead. So whatever star wants to kill the Earth, go ahead. I'm already off of it. <laughs> All right. So it doesn't seem like Earth is heating up. It seems like I, it, it seems like things are going just fine. We're going months um, a second here. We're going eight months a second, so that should be okay. We're in the middle of the supernova. Why are we not heating up, Earth? Earth, are you heating up? Like, look at this. We are in the white of the supernova. Now, what is going on, and why are we not dying? Is it because we're not close to it, or is the simulation not okay? Like, is the simulation not realistic? And it says we're going years plus months. I don't know how that works. Uh, it spread... It spread almost 106 light years and we are in the middle of it and I don't understand we're not in the middle middle we're still we still got it so our scenario is that's the hot part so if we launched if we launch it over that way it would die we obviously because we'd be going away from the Sun not only that would be so let's slow down slow everything down today's we should be okay and let's see what's going on what's going on with you earth are you are you losing your water or not so it looks like earth is not losing its water just yet um i'm not sure if the core if when it spreads i'm not sure if it actually goes and i'm not sure we're in the middle almost i mean it spread pretty far we're in the white part of the uh supernova which is the hot hot part but the supernova it's a okay so the type is a tesla you, i'm pretty sure you can change supernova type type let i call it a tesla that's what the hell i don't know so, uh space um type la, i think that's what this says uh, radius is 45.4 light years it is 45.5 uh, four light years that is way over six point something light years away from us that star has blew up and spread i'd say six more than six times more than where the star was from us the cloud mass is 4.04 um, of our suns the age uh, uh, is 262 years so it's not that old and um compared well it's not that old due to space obviously and i don't know where i don't i don't know i i have no idea why we didn't like why isn't things burning up yet because i mean like mercury is fine we are fine and it takes a, a water's boiling like uh, like it's it's evaporation boiling point is high honestly it's pretty it's like i'd say a hundred something I'm not gonna say exactly what it is I mean um, it's it's still it's I mean obviously so we're gonna do a new simulation and it's going to be with the same star so we have the stars uh, this one then um, star that bra whoa shine <laughs> oh my god that shines bright now what happens if we had a really hot star like Sirius Sir, I don't know how you pronounce that. Like Sirius. This one, what happens if we had a white star? So what happens if Sirius was our sun? Now you mind you. Now if we view our habitable zone areas, and we look at that. Now look at this is the green. We'd be in the green. We're in the green of our sun. So if we get if we grab the sun, look at the suns compared to this one. So we're in the green right here of the sun right here so if if obviously everybody knows what would happen if we had a different sun 
um, we would be really, really close to the white star and we'd burn. But what happens if it was our natural star? So if it was our natural star, say Mercury would be somewhere around right here. Um, Venus would be somewhere around in the red still and Earth would be right on the verge of the green because that's the way it is right now. Mars would be kind of in the middle of the green. Jupiter would be on the outside of the blue and green. Saturn would be right here somewhere on the verge of the um, the edge of the blue and the green. Uh, Uranus would be um, somewhere. Is that Saturn? Yeah, that's Saturn. And Neptune would be somewhere around right here. Right on the outside of the blue. Think about that. Um, Neptune is a unhabitable. It's like Neptune's like a, a meth thing. So um, Pluto, Pluto. We're not gonna. We're gonna include Pluto too because why not? Pluto's here with us. Look at watch. See, Pluto needs a lot of love. Everybody. Everybody says Pluto's not a planet. Um, to me, it's a ball. It's 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 a ball floating in the space. You know. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> uh, Pluto is the uh, unliked. Um, odd ones out weird kid that's that's Pluto anyways um, he's the odd one out okay he, he you know sits down at lunch alone with nobody to talk to that's what Pluto is I'm not <laughs> or whatever so earth this is what it would look like okay so you guys obviously can tell a difference on the Sun if you guys can't then well, I'm sorry um, to say. So you can obviously tell there's a blue light because the sun is blue. Obviously, you guys can see Sirius over there. And how far is this? So, us to us, um, 6.68 astronomical units. Now, that's how long, that's how far away we are to the sun now that is 600 something million miles away from this uh, from the sun now and to us since how hot the sun is that would be a okay zone for us to live in um with the sun we are now we are like 94 million miles away from the sun already but this is 600 this is 600 and something million miles away so this is gr a greater distance from the sun but we'd still be able to live because it's got a brighter distance right and we still have our time zones so it's still you know it's you know 23 hours basically basically a whole day it is still going pretty fast it is its orbital period is not 11 years i i think its orbital period is 365 days that's a year i think Yes, I don't have to think. I know what it is. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to go out that way now. What is that? Right, let's just read it up. I think we're going to move. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, no! We died. Okay. Um, Earth has evaporated our oceans. Wow. Earth hasn't did it, uh, the star did it. So I'm considering this to be very impossible to have as a star, considering the fact we'd be all dead. I mean, we wouldn't, like 37 degrees. Oh no, 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 oh my God. Oh my God, 307 degrees Celsius. That is a hot planet we would not live we'd be burning alive right, right now i'm sitting where i'm recording at i'm honestly sweating just where i'm recording at and my computer shouldn't be out here recording this is exactly why i wasn't recording any videos you even if we were 600 light years even if we were 600 uh, million 6.68 astronomical uh, units away we would not be able to live so what we are going to do is we are going to get and we and we are going to explode earth because we are already dead and uh it looks like moon it looks like moon came out of the earth i mean it did but and there we go we're gonna ex we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and explode the star too see then now we got a supernova now here we go i could have did that too so there we go we got a supernova now why don't we speed it up and kill everything and there we go we have a supernova and pluto no I forgot Pluto. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pluto. I didn't mean to. Pluto, you are white hot. Holy shit. And it looked like you just turned into a... Oh, no, you burned away. Pluto, you're dead. 
I'm sorry, Pluto. <laughs> I'm, oh, Mer Neptune. Neptune's also my favorite planet. Oh, do you guys have a flaming planet? Because if you guys do have a favorite planet, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, me, um, I like, I like, I love space. Now, if you guys don't like space and you guys are saying, I don't know, it's whatever, it's whatever's up there, I don't care. It's just your opinion. So, if you guys have a favorite planet, let me know down in the comments below. I like Neptune because of the color of it. Neptune is a, um, I think it, uh, Neptune is a gas giant, but it's 75, uh, 4% water, which makes it up to bl being blue. It's, it's got six hydrogen, so it's a, um, gas giant. And, um, it's got so much stuff in that water, if you would drink any bit of that water you would die in an instant be just i mean i don't even know how you would get to put a neptune in the first place that was but it's got gases in it it's like uh, methane it's got methane water in it i think i'm uh, from what i am understanding of what is it made out of like all my uh, searching of what neptune i i've searched up a lot of stuff about space now i know you guys all want to know I know a lot of people already done this, but I know you guys want to know what happens if a black hole the size of the Milky Way galaxy, Sagittarius A. It, wh I, let me think. What happens if Sagittarius A was right here in the sun? So we're going to pause this. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the sun. We're going to go ahead and add a black hole, Sagittarius A. And uh, this is a black hole. 10 times bigger than our sun. Sagittarius A is a black hole that is in the middle of our galaxy. Sagittarius A is the black hole in the center of our galaxy. And if you guys did not know, we do. The galaxy is spinning around a big ass black hole. And if it would have ever uh, activated, whole galaxy sucked up, gone. We're dead. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, there's only one way Sagittarius A could be, um, Activated and I'm pretty sure it's like if it collides with another galaxy or another star or black hole so Yeah, let's just add it where our Sun was and that was like right here. So there we go We got a we got a black hole the saw 10 times bigger than our Sun. It's got like how much in it? It's got wow. It's got ones tens hundreds thousands four million four million three hundred thousand of our suns inside of it now look Mercury, you wouldn't like. I don't know. Let's just in, in the pull force. I, I don't know if it has a. Um, you can actually see the pull force. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna slow it down. We're gonna slow it down to real time, almost real time, not exactly real time. So this is real time. We have the black hole, and I mean it's really hard to see the event horizon with these ones. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it just looks like a black thing right here um anyways uh yeah here's venus and uh let's speed it up and see what happens now we all know what's gonna happen all right let's be real we all know what's gonna happen if we orbit a black hole and there we go oh no there yep there we go and it's gonna pull l it's gonna pull there it goes pulling in the whole solar system it's even pulling in all the comets and rocks oh my god and here comes jupiter jupiter will be there he's just saying i'm, I'm he's late to the party Oh my God! Sagittarius A uh, would is this? It's 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 strong. All right. Pluto is not. Doesn't look like it's being. Oh, yep. Pluto's infected. They're all affected. Uh oh. What's going on? There's a rave. Something happening. Oh well. This is Uranus is getting sucked up. Can I get a rim shot? <laughs> If you guys don't know what a rim shot is, then don't uh, mistake of what I said. Rim shot is that drum thing. Okay, so Neptune is on its way here. Pluto is joining. Pluto is joining all of the people for once. Pluto is joining us. He's joining everybody. It's just I'm sorry you're late. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Everybody. Oh, and he just died too. I'm sorry, Pluto. You're gone. Uh, what is? What are these? I I don't know what that is. Is that a moon of something? Um, isn't it like a moon of some... I, I don't know. It's got no water. It's got more silica than iron. Holy God. Uh, we're, 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 everybody's dead. Um, everybody knows if what, what happens if we or, or, if we we're orbiting Sagittarius A. And, um, pretty much, 
Yeah. That, that, holy shit, look at all these things uh, crossing around the black hole. So, just, yeah. And it ate up our whole thing. So, yeah. But that is gonna be it for another uh, another video. That is gonna be it for Universe Sandbox. Now I want you guys to ask, tell me something. What do you guys want to see on this game? Do you want to see more of it? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm done playing this game for right now on my channel. I will come back to it in a few weeks when I'm back. I'm going to make two extra videos for, for the other few days and stuff like that. So do you guys want to see this video more? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys want to see this game. Uh, I'll be gladly to record it for you guys a lot more than what you guys think I will do you guys have any ideas for what I should do um, this is just a thing for right now so yeah thank you everybody so much for watching if you guys liked the video let me know down in the comments below and as always I'll see you guys in the next video peace oh.